Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we're going to go ahead and touch upon another fragrance from the house of Bond number no. 9. I'm knocking them down, I'm checking them off, and I'm getting through a lot of the Bond series. Today we're talking about New York Amber. Now, New York Amber is a fragrance that kind of confused me because uh, when I smelled it at the store, it really reminded me of another fragrance that they had released called Herod's Oud. Uh, both, to me, very similar fragrances that both use oud and amber kind of to a similar degree. Uh, but don't fool it, it, they are, you know, somewhat different on, you know, skin and on application. All right? Now, the bottle of the fragrance, mm, I mean, it's, it's like another bottle from Bond, and it kind of keeps that consistency, which I like, between the Bond bottles, and uh, that's pretty nice. Now, the 100 milliliter is going to run you, I believe, $375 retail, while the 50 milliliter is going to run you $295 retail. So it's a pricey fragrance, but if you look around, I believe you can find this one discounted on other sites. Uh, other discount sites basically that you know pedal uh, aftermarket or you know great goods basically so do some searching around and you might be able to find this one a little bit cheaper if it tickles your fancy all right now let's get right into the actual fragrance itself notes of the fragrance are listed on screen the big takeaway is there are three big notes with this fragrance one amber obviously two oud and three is rose it's this is a very in-your-face amber, rose, and oud fragrance. Now, I know with a lot of fragrances, you smell rose, um, and, you know, it's a soft rose. This is not so. This is a very heavy rose. Um, in fact, it reminds me kind of, uh, kind of of the way that Tom Ford uses rose in that heaviness, in that, you know, kind of upfront and in-your-face. This is a very heavy fragrance. It's a very, you know, just kind of dampening fragrance but don't let it fool you. It's not one that, you know, really projects out and grabs people, but it kind of sits on you and it sits on the skin and becomes more of a, a personal scent. One that they're not gonna smell you about, you know, two, three feet away. When they come up close to you, they're gonna smell you. And more importantly, you're gonna smell yourself the entire time. So it's a little bit tricky in that people, or you may think that you're projecting like crazy, but not so with this fragrance. So don't let it throw you off, don't let it fool you. The fragrance does have good sillage though, so you are going to leave a nice little scent trail behind you. Now, as the fragrance kind of develops, it really, it calms down with kind of like that stanky rose, it calms down with that overpowering oud, and it becomes a little bit more of a, I guess you could say, it becomes a little bit smoother, which is nice. And it remains kind of in your face, you know, amber oud rose, and a little bit of pepper starts coming out uh, with the fragrance, and that pretty much maintains the fragrance throughout and throughout. Uh, so if I'm to describe kind of a scent, it almost reminds me almost of a kind of like an old bookstore to a degree. I know that's kind of weird, but it's an old bookstore-ish vibe. Uh, now, as far as longevity on my skin, I'm just gonna say it lasts about, uh, it lasts a pretty, a, a pretty decent amount of time, so about nine hours on my skin. Again, the projection isn't there necessarily, but it's closer to your skin, and the sillage, it definitely is there for the scent. I would recommend it for older people. I would generally tend to wear this one out to a bar or possibly out to a date if it matches your skin chemistry. So give this one a shot in that regards. This one will be perfect for those nights where you're gonna be drinking a lot of alcohol and you still wanna remain smelling like your fragrance throughout and don't become overpowered with that alcohol scent. So this will hit that mark and it will do it perfectly well uh, in those regards. Now, this is a good fall and winter scent. I would not necessarily, I would not necessarily wear it during the days in the spring and summer, but I would wear it in the nights in the spring and summer. When it's cooler or when it's darker, those are the times to pull this sucker out. I did not get any compliments with this fragrance, so unfortunately it was not a compliment getter, but I think in the right hands it can potentially be a compliment getter. Uh, and finally, if I'm going to go ahead and talk about um, the other similar scents like I mentioned Herod's Oud is the closest scent and that's also made by Bond number no. 9. Uh, this fragrance is marketed as unisex but yeah, yeah I would I would consider it unisex. On some people's scent though the rose may come out really prominent and it may be a little bit more femininating so 
take with that what we will. So I'm going to go ahead and give this fragrance a rating. I give this fragrance a rating two and a half out of five stars. Now it almost got two out of five stars uh, instead, but I gave it a little bit of mercy. Now, the re thing that's really causing it to lose points is one, the outlandish price. I mean, it's really expensive. I, I get you're getting decent amount of quality from this fragrance, but at the same time, I don't think it's worth anywhere near uh, what it's worth. I think what of the prices that I'm seeing on the Grey Lycard sites are something that I can more jive with but not the retail price for this. So I um, get it gets a little point, bit of points off for that. Uh, the scent, I like the scent. It's not the greatest scent though. I think there are other scents that kind of do this a little bit better. Um, and so unfortunately it's gonna get only, you know, half of a star from that. It's not the most original despite the fact that, you know, it's there um, and it kind of has that vibe, but you know, it's not gonna lose total originality points for it. Uh, so. Uh, and compliment wise, it's not really going to get you compliments. It's not a heavy compliment getting fragrance, but at the same time, I think this could potentially be, you know, a scent that really mixes well with somebody's skin and at the same time does really well for them. So it's almost like a love it or hate it fragrance. All right. So let me know what your thoughts are on New York Amber. Always curious, uh, love reviewing some of these scents that not many people have touched upon and, um, love looking at them. All right. So thank you guys. Take care of yourselves and you guys have a great day.